getting to peek behind doors normally closed to the public. Eleven companies and attractions in Hoyk opened their doors this weekend to give visitors unseen access. Quite a lot of the visitors, particularly in the borders, are people who live in the borders area. But there again, we have people who've come from Glasgow, from perhaps five further afield to come, especially because it's a Doors Open Day event. And they may well come back again, uh, either later in the year or next year. Taking part were both historical and modern buildings, including the Town Hall, the Textile Centre for Excellence, and Mansfield Park, home to Hoyk Rugby Football Club. Uh, we are the couple of people at the rugby club this morning and it was, I was showing them around all the, the, the various places in, within a rugby club and what the club means and they were really uh, taken aback with some of the information that was available which they didn't know about. So I think it's really an opportunity to sell your um, facility. Tours, demonstrations and guided walks were also on offer and there were different reasons visitors wanted to get behind closed doors. The town hall this morning, you look up at the building, you pass it every day and you don't realise what's in it or anything about it, so it really was, it's good. I think it's very important and I think that's what holds the community together. We do have a history and we're very passionate about that in Hoyt. I'm nosy. Uh, I just like a good look around and I, I absolutely love my history. Organisers hope by giving people a sneak peek behind the scenes, they'll better appreciate the buildings they walk past every day. Jennifer Cordingly, ITV News, Hoyk.